Bonnie Francis. We're talking about activities that are happening in Queen Anne's County. On May 15th, the Senior Summit will be happening out at the 4-H Park. I have with me Michelle Parker, who is from Bay Area SEAL, and you're one of the vendors that are out there. So I want you to start by telling people what actually is Bay Area SEAL. Okay. Bay Area SEAL is... Um Bay Area Center for Independent Living, and we are a 501c3 located in Salisbury, Maryland. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, virtual office in Easton as well, and we cover all nine counties on the Eastern Shore from Somerset, Worcester County, all the way up to Queen Anne's and um, Cecil County. Okay. So uh, we do cover those areas, and we help all folks, all ages, all disabilities. So we're not limited to any one group. Right. Um, we uh, focus on five core services at Bay Area Cell, those being mentoring, advocacy, independent living skills training, information and referral, and transitioning. And transitioning can be youth uh, transitioning out of high school or transitioning out of nursing homes or staying out of nursing homes. That's okay. our main goal. Um, we have several different programs that help folks navigate, um, those being Maryland Relay, which is a telephone program, which is, it's free, there's an application process involved, you do have to have a landline, and somebody will come out and assess you, and what they'll do is they will fit you with the best phone that works for you, whether it be your hard of hearing, your low vision, um, you have problems pressing the buttons, maybe your mobility is not as good as it used to be. So they'll fit you with the best phone that will work for you. Um, we also have an assistive technology lab that will um, allow you to come in and look at some devices that might work for you and you want to try them out before you buy them so that they're not you're getting able to kind of get a taste and a feel of what you're getting into mm -hmm. rather than just going out and buy something that won't work for you. Right. Um, so we, we do have that lab. We also help fund um, certain items that you may need that you can't always afford. And it, it definitely has to be a need, and it's going to help you to be more independent. Our goal is that you maintain independence. So if there's an item that, you know, is you know, might cost a little bit too much money and you maybe only have part of the money, we can help you find the additional funding to go ahead and purchase that piece of equipment that's going to help you in your activities of daily living or your life so that you're just that more, much now, more Now, does someone come out and evaluate if you really need that item or how does that work? Well, it's based off of really what the item is. Okay. If sometimes things are prescribed by doctors that aren't always covered by Medicare okay. or Medicaid, so it could be that type of a device or maybe it's a, you know, a low vision device that, you know, you're not quite eligible for anywhere else. That's okay. going to help you to, you know, read, read items, read cards, read prescriptions or, you know, hear something a little bit better, whether it be a hearing aid or um, any type of device and you know there's no one set criteria that says oh it's you know it has to be this this or this right. if you think right. it's going to help you be independent we're going to advocate for you to get it all right so but then that takes time too when you have to go through different hoops Mm -hmm. to get funding it's not something that's going to happen overnight that's correct it, it does take a little bit you know it, it can take you know as much as a few weeks to six to eight months right um, most people are usually happy in the long run when they have to pay oh, very yeah. little or no cost yeah. for an item that might be two three four thousand dollars so it ends up working out in the long run um, as long as your patience is there and your persistence is there, um, good things come to those who wait, really. Um, so, yeah. And we'll be set up at the Queen Anne's County um, there. Se Senior that, Summit. Yeah, Senior, Senior Summit. Summit at the 4 H Park. So, we'll have a table there. So, feel free if you want to just get a little more information, you can do that. Come on out and see us. Um, or if you just don't know where to go to look for something. Um, we are a great resource for just information. You know, if, if we don't know the information, we will find it. So do you have a phone number they could call? Yes, we. our phone number is area code 443-260-0822. 
that's to our Salisbury office, and okay. what they'll do is they will then filter out based off of where you're located. So is the lab that you were talking about with the technologies in Salisbury? It is in Salisbury. We do have some pieces of technology in Easton. Mm -hmm. uh, our Easton office is open and it will be, um, we'll be getting more devices down in that area as time goes on. We've just recently opened that office. So is that open every day? It is open Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Okay. So every day except Friday. All right. Um, 8.30 to 4.30. Um, that's located in with Four Seasons in Easton as okay. well. Um, so, yeah. Well, I'm glad you let people know what's available out there, and hopefully they'll stop by your booth and get some information, and if they need help, staying independent, that's the main thing. That's the main it's, goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I thank you so much for having me on here today because I think it's just getting the word out and knowing where to go to look for something is the first step in being successful. Right. So, you know, just the fact, you know, we're getting out here and getting, you know, just people to know about who we are and what we do is very important and we might have something that works for you. So. Well, and even family members, if they, mm -hmm. you know, they're not sure should their parents stay home alone or, or are there resources that could help them mm -hmm. that would give them that information yes. even though it's a senior summit it could be you know family members that are concerned about a mm -hmm. senior staying home alone absolutely we have a lot of folks that are um, care caregivers caretakers mm -hmm. um, and they're looking for something to give them a little bit of of assurance to know that if they have to leave to go to the grocery store to get mom and dad something um, that they're gonna be safe and they're right. gonna be okay by themselves for a while so you know we might just have that piece of device or that resource that's gonna have you you know be successful and being able to go out and do what you need to do to keep them home right so mm -hmm. well we thank you for coming in Michelle and thank hopefully you. they'll stop by the booth and see what, what all you have to offer them. That's great. Thank you for having me, Bonnie.